Rilo, how are these storms doing? Well, you know, they are still now moving through South Jersey and Delaware. Mm -hmm. They're headed for the shore. We are seeing some sun break out on the western edge of things, so we're starting to look a little bit better in the city and western suburbs, but still some raindrops on the windshield of our CBS3 mobile weather watcher live traveling down I-95 south. Still some lingering rain, although the heaviest has pushed to the south and east down toward the shore points. Still looking a little messy out there, and now you may be dealing with sun glare along with the raindrops. And I talked about being on rain Rainbow watch. Well, we caught one. Our cameras were on rainbow watch. This is our live look from our Spring Garden Street camera looking east toward the shore and look at that beautiful rainbow all the way across the sky. Send me your rainbow pics. If you get them, I'll try to get them on the air for you. I think we will be seeing more, especially as we get these clouds to clear out and get some sun with the storm still off to the east. Checking in with our eyewitness weather watchers right now. They've been watching the storms roll in. You can see temperatures have dropped quite a bit. All of our entire weather watcher network right now reporting temperatures in the 70s. This after many spots approached 90 earlier today and just want to show you a couple photos of the rain moving in very heavy rain. This one from Lynn. She says it is literally pouring outside. You can see the deck furniture just totally drenched there and sending us this as well, showing us the heavy rain on his deck and we had the dark clouds rolling in. Here's a, a Phil's webcam in Chestnut Hill showing the heavy rain coming through. You can see it's just pouring there and then now the sun is out by 530, so the heavy rain moved through and now seeing some breaks in the cloud cover. Let's take you out to one shot from our library camera, Parkway Central Library. I just like this shot because it shows some pretty cool cloud formations. You can still see the dark clouds there as you look to the south and to the west, but some blue sky on the horizon. Really beautiful skyscape on our camera here on the neighborhood network in Center City. So temperatures right now. Rain cooled air moving through. We've got temps in the 70s across most of the region. Still hanging on to 86 in Millville. That's from the top of 5 o'clock. That number will drop as of 6. And we are seeing the storms just now push down the shore. Low 70s in Willow Grove and Pottstown. Westchester 73. The areas that had the heaviest rain saw the biggest drop in temperature as that rain moved through. But here are the storms now. This is a 6-hour loop on Storm Scan 3. You can see most of this has actually started to get out of here a little bit more quickly, which is good news as far as flood is concerned the storms not quite as sluggish as they were earlier today to the north and west, but still some heavy embedded downpours from Tom's River right on down through portions of Atlantic County. Again, the Atlantic City Expressway down toward Violin, Morris River, and now just starting to move down the shore. I just checked our Cape May camera. Starting to see a few little drops there, but the heaviest storms probably about 15 minutes away now. So certainly time to get off the beach if you know anyone that's down there. And here is this huge complex of rain and lightning and thunder just starting to push into southern Delaware. So from Dover right on down towards Salisbury, Maryland, we've got heavy rain and lots and lots of lightning. What to expect through the rest of tonight? This little secondary line may try to get its act together. Could impact the Lehigh Valley. I think it then fizzles. Storms are possible in South Jersey until 10 or 11, and then skies will clear. Much nicer weather. High pressure moves in as that front pushes offshore. We've got a sunny, mild stretch through the end of the week with high pressure in control. So overnight, the storms come to an end. Skies clear. 73 is the overnight low. Tomorrow, less humid with lots of sunshine, but I promised we'd talk about the weekend. Here's what we're watching. A new low developed off the coast, a secondary upper low over the Great Lakes. This is Sunday, so we're watching two lows converging over the weekend. The best chance for rain with this comes Sunday, but with an east wind, I do think Saturday will be noticeably cooler, and you'll see that reflected here on the seven day forecast. Great weather Wednesday through Friday, then cooler with the chance for a shower Saturday. Clouds, showers, possibly even some steadier rain on Sunday, and we'll keep it unsettled with showers and storms possible Monday and Tuesday as well. Yuki and Jessica, back over to you. Okay, thank you. The highest paid entertainers.